Hey, this is Chris Plush, and in this quick tutorial, I just wanted to show you an amazing tool for hard surface modeling called Grid Fill. When used right, this tool can get you perfect surfaces instantly. In this example, I left open an area of the car that needs to be perfect. It's high visibility, curvy all around, and any problem with topology will be very noticeable in the final reflections. Now, I can face this up manually, which could be tricky to get perfect, or I could simply select the edge loop around the gap, press Ctrl and F for the face menu, and choose Grid Fill. And perfect topology instantly. Perfect edge flow and perfect spacing all the way around, and perfect reflections all the way through. Now, this tool works in a lot of situations, but not every situation. And there's a few things to keep in mind to give it the best chance of success. First, the vertex count needs to match up. You need to have the same amount of vertices on the left side and the right side, and the same amount on the top and the bottom. When the vertices match up, you'll have a perfect grid in the end. And second, your topology around the gap should be as perfect as possible. So the curves should be nice and smooth, and the spacing should be consistent, and so on. The grid quality will be based on the surrounding topology. And third, when you go to make your selection, make sure one of the corner vertices is the active selection. And if it's not, just deselect it and reselect it so it becomes active, then Control and F and Grid Fill. And there we go. This tool more often gives you perfect results right off the bat when a corner vertex is the active selection. And that's it. And this is just one of countless tips and techniques in my new car modeling course. So if you want to learn a lot more and support my training too, then go check out 3D Cars Inside and Out on Gumroad or Blender Market. The links are in the description. And that'll do it for this video, so I'll see you in the next one.